All right, man, so we back at it again with another crazy video. But before we get to this video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Go down below in the comment section, answer the poll question of the day. I'm trying to interact with y'all. So answer the poll question of the day. Now look, today's poll question of the day. I ain't got no crazy question for y'all, but I just want to know how have you guys work week been so far? You know what I'm saying? Today's Friday, hey, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all is payday. For me, it was payday today. So you know what I'm saying? It is a little, you know what I'm saying? Today's a good day. So y'all let me know how y'all work week been so far. Uh, down below in the comment section But without further ado man Hit that like button Subscribe to on post notifications Follow your boy on IG What is y'all doing man Follow your boy on IG Also I got a podcast channel Link in the description box below Go support your boy Without further ado Let's get into this crazy crazy video So Black Lives Matter leader Just released a list of 10 things White people should give to black people And I have oh, to Lord. say I haven't been ambitious enough In my letters to Santa My name is Candace Owens And you are watching my vlog series The Myth of the Coon <laughs> So a lot of people have been wondering, what does Black Lives Matter want? I mean, today it seems like all they've really accomplished is burning down black neighborhoods, pissing off police officers, and ruining future employment opportunities for black kids that ride on their behalf and get arrested. Fortunately, yeah. Chanel Helm, the co-founder of BLM in Louisville, Kentucky, lays it out clearly in a pointed article entitled, White People. Here are 10 requests from a Black Lives Matter leader. Personally, I haven't seen a list this colorful since Veruca Salt told Willy Wonka that she wanted a geese to lay gold eggs for Easter. But hey, I'm just here to report the facts. Wait, so you're telling me, so you're telling me, in the words of Jesse Lee Peterson, this big fat, bl no, I'm just playing, I'm not, I'm not that mean, okay? I'm not mean at all. But what Jesse Lee Peterson said in the last video was crazy, all right? <laughs> It was crazy. But you telling me this woman created a list of things that white people should give up to black people? Once again, black people, who do y'all think y'all are? Do y'all think y'all some like some some top-notch secure? Like who do y'all think y'all are? Y'all literally, everybody on this earth, I believe is the same. Okay. I believe literally are the same. Nobody is different from the other person. We may be different with personality, characteristics. Some people are just complete racist and other people not. But at the end of the day, we all bleed the same. So I don't understand why you feel like white people owe us something. Talking about uh, this is a list of things that uh, you, that white people should give up to black people. Like, what? I, I can't wait to hear this list. Oh, man. Boompa, boompa, doompa, dee, dee. If you are wise, you listen to me. Number one on her list. Chanel would like white people who have no children to leave their homes to black or brown families. So like if you worked your entire life to be able to afford a home but forgot to procreate and you're thinking, hmm, I'm going to leave my home to my brother or my sister. No, no, think again, whitey. Number two, what? she explains that if you inherit a home, so like if your mom died and she left you a house, she just immediately give it away to a black or brown family because you will be able to earn that somewhere else down the line in your white privileged life. Her words not mine. Number three is for developers. She wants you guys to build homes and let black people live in them for free. I don't see any. Who do the, who in the, what the, who the hell y'all think y'all are? Seriously, who, literally, I'm gonna just sit over here. I'm gonna just sit over here because honestly, who do y'all think y'all are? Like, hold on, so you telling me, after these, after people done work so hard, they work so hard for what they have. You telling me that I should give up something I worked hard for and give it to you and give it to you because you're, because the color of your skin, because you're black, you deserve this house. And then, oh, wait, huh? Let's not mention that. Okay. All the houses that you guys build, you should give it to black people for free and let them live. Who do y'all think y'all are? Who do you, I, seriously? I, I'm so confused in the life that we live in America, you have to work. If you want to be successful in life, you have to work. Ain't nothing given to ain't nothing given to nobody for free. Everything you have to work for. Okay? Ain't nothing free in this life unless you go to Jules Osco and get your little sample. The little sample cups they be having. That's, my, that's about the only thing that's free. Only thing that's free. <laughs> if you seriously go to Jules and you like literally just get the sample and walk out, you need help. But that's the only thing that's free. Nothing else is free in this life. So I'm not giving up nothing. I don't want white people, to, if a white person works hard for where they're at right now, I don't want them to give up that for me at all. Point blank, period. People, see, this is what black people fail to realize. Y'all don't, y'all fail to realize y'all think this white privilege thing is real. No, this white privilege thing is a myth. There is not a such thing as white privilege. And you can mark my words on that. It's not a such thing as white privilege. Stop thinking that white people have this privilege. It's white people that live the same life as a black person. And black people, they live in the same life as some white people. It's some white people that's rich. It's some white people that's wealthy. Whatever you want to call it. It's some white people out there that's just living their life. 
but it's also some black people. You got Shaquille O'Neal, you got LeBron James in these million dollar, billion dollar houses. You got freaking Rick Ross in a freaking mansion. He's black. But guess what? You know how they got to them point in life? They worked. They worked. It's not white privilege. It wasn't just given to them. They worked. That's what they did. They worked. They're not finna sit here and be lazy and then point. They don't point the finger, finger at every white person they see. They don't point the finger at every other race. You know what they did? They held themselves accountable. They worked hard for where they at. And that's how they got to the point where they at right now. If you go keep pointing your fingers and pointing at every other race and say black lives matter, black lives matter, then... Look, you ain't going to be nowhere in life. Like the whole Memphis thing. I don't know if y'all heard about the whole Memphis situation that happened. Bro, where is Black Lives Matter at now? Where, where they at now? What, what Black Lives Matter, what, where they at now? A black man going around acting stupid, acting crazy, killing random people. Luring no man saying, oh, I need help and killing. Like, bro, where, where y'all at now? Black Lives Matter, right? Man. Economical issues with that. Number four, you can afford to downsize. Like... I don't know, maybe your kids are off to college or something. Then she expects you to move out and let a black family move in. Preferably a black family that comes from generational poverty. I like that one the most because she says preferably an impoverished black family, but like it doesn't have to be. So you could also move out of your house and give it to a rich black family. Number five, I'm gonna read verbatim, which is just white people. If any of the people you intend to leave your property to are racist assholes, change the will. Do it right now. Six, rebudget your monthly so you can donate to black funds for land purchasing. I mean, I don't know. But hold on, she's talking, I know she ain't talking about donate when they done collected over millions of dollars and you spending on this freaking mansion or whatever, you, you spending on something stupid. It's something stupid. But you talking about donate. Bro, look, <laughs> the founder of this Black Lives Matter thing, Black Lives Matter, period. Y'all, y'all seriously are the races. Y'all seriously are the people that need help for real, for real. Y'all feel like everybody's against black people. No, 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 no. Y'all against yourselves. That's the truth. Black people are against black people. That's, that's the reality of it. It's not even a lot of white people that's against black people. Y'all just think that because y'all feel like, oh, if a white person does this and a white person does this to a black person, if they do this and they do that, it's racist. If a white person say the N word, it's racist. But hold on. Let's reverse. Y'all said N-word every single day in this stupid rap that y'all got going on in today's time and age. Y'all rap is terrible. The rap in today's time and age is terrible. Y'all said the N-word countless of times. I mean, even the rap back then, Tupac done said it plenty of times. So I'm just kind of confused on why a white person can't say it, but y'all can. Y'all not, y'all feel like y'all just, just higher up every, like, no, y'all not higher up. Y'all not. The more y'all keep acting like this and making lists for white people like this is Christmas, this ain't Christmas, your wishes are not going to be granted. Simple as that. The more y'all keep putting yourselves above white people and above every other race, in my eyes, y'all going to always be below every other race. Because I don't, I can't, I can't sit here and say, or I can't sit here and support a group of people who put themselves above everybody else. But then they don't look at themselves and see what's the real problem within this community. They, they put themselves above everybody else. No, in my eyes, y'all below everybody else. Because everybody else is not putting it, them above y'all. So at the end of the day, <laughs> it's going to always be... Uh, I, I'm going to say it like this. It's going to always be forget Black Lives Matter. Because I was thinking of a word, but y'all can fill in the blanks. I don't curse. So y'all can fill in the blanks of the word that uh, was that was in my head. But yeah. For the rest of you, but every time I go to a white person's house and I see that they have HBO, I'm thinking... That's like twenty five nine nine a month that could donate to black funds for land purchasing. I mean, I don't know the rest of you, but every time I go to a white person's house and I see that they have HBO, I'm thinking, that's like twenty five nine nine a month that could be going to me. Number seven is for white woman because this is your specialty. Nosy Jenny and meddling Kathy, get a racist fired. Get your boss fired because they racist too. Number eight, she just uses to back up number seven and she dedicates it to little D-I-C-K white men. She wants white women to also get them fired. Number nine, she wants these white girls to address these little D-I-C-K white men. And if they- Dang, what? Why they, why y'all comparing, why y'all talking about these sizes now? I'm just confused. You don't know how a white man, you know what I'm saying is? We, we don't know. St stop. We don't know. Y'all y'all want to say, bro, I'm not finna get into this topic right now, but I just want to say this. That whole 
BBC thing? Hey, bro, that's that that is literally <laughs> please. If you believe that you watch too much, too much hub. You need to stay off of it. They need to assault them. Here's the thing. Some people might watch this video and think that I'm speaking out against black people. Actually, that's not true and it couldn't be more the opposite. What I'm doing here is speaking up for black people. For the millions of us who do not think like this, who are not this ignorant, who are not this petulant, and who would never list something so low aiming as a list that this Thank girl you. presented to the community. It is incumbent upon each and every one of us black people who are aiming for education and advancement in society by not dwelling on the past but looking towards our futures to stand up and to say that this is absolutely and utterly reprehensible. Reprehensible not just because of its fantastical elements but because it truly paints a grotesque picture of the African American community. It paints us like hobos and beggars who cannot accomplish anything on our own without sticking our hands out. It is an absolute shame that a woman like this is given a platform platform to speak, period. The facts are that every race since the beginning of humankind has experienced slavery, and only one of them is asking for reparations from people who didn't enslave them. Are there things that Caucasian people can help us rally for that will help close the gap on some systemic oppressions from the past? Absolutely. Asking them to give up their homes is not one of them. Is, I will not you. tolerate this depiction of African Americans in the media, and every time I see something as mediocre as this, I will speak out against it. I like to wrap this up with a pro fundraising tip. When asking people for money, maybe don't refer to them as meddling Cathy's and nosy Jenny's and little D-I-C-K white men. <laughs> wow. Well, Candace be, man, Candace be speaking her stuff. I see why she won on the poll, because if y'all don't know, I made a poll. And y'all should go, go to the, y'all should go to that poll. Go to my channel, go to the community tab, and go to the poll. I said, if these people were to run for president, who would you pick? It was me, Candace Owens, Officer Tatum, and it was Jesse Lee Peterson. I said, if, if we was to run for president, which one would you vote? Who has your vote? Y'all should go, y'all should go literally go check that poll out, because it was, it was interesting, okay? But my whole thing with this situation is, first of all, uh, people always think that me, like people always think that I speak against black people when in reality, I don't, I don't, I just don't take sides and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything because I believe that certain black people that think like this and that make lists for white people to do, they need to be canceled ASAP. This woman has no type of knowledge for her to even sit here and write down a list of things that white people should give up to black people. That's basically saying that black people, we are we are ineligible to work for our own things. We are ineligible to to go out and make the same money that a white person can make too. I mean, literally, for real. I mean, it's black doctors doctors out there who's making tons of money, tons of money. So you can't say we're oppressed. You can't say it's hard for us to get jobs. You can't say that it's white privilege. You can't say none of that. If you work hard and if you have a career path throughout your life and you want to be let's say you want to be a doctor you go to school for however many years you need to go to school for to become that doctor guess what you're going to be that doctor okay they're not going to look at you and say oh well you're black so uh we can't hire you You probably don't know what you're doing you're not really educated enough to know about this type of medicine and what to put in this type of person like no they're not going to look at that you know what people normally look at they look at see what do you have behind your name okay if you have some type of degree to get into these type of fields that's what they really care the most about because you can have the experience all day long but if you don't got that type of if you don't got that paper behind your name for certain for certain careers you won't get in okay you just won't it, it, that's just how it works or at least that's how i was taught that it works you know my mama she taught me that i mean she works in a big a big company you feel me my mother works in a big company and she's black she's the only black person that work in that company only black person that work in that company but they didn't they didn't say oh no we can't get you the job because you're black no, she just worked hard to get into that position that she's in. Simple as that. Y'all need to stop making fat people seem so poor than what it than what they are. You feel me? It's poor in every race, but dang, bro, y'all make us seem like we just very low average. <laughs> y'all, let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Today is Friday. You know what I'm saying? It, it feels good to be a Friday. You feel me? Y'all enjoy y'all weekend, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.